like, I just don't know what to do with myself. The main characters look so cute. This is what we're looking at. I did a little bit of shopping today with my friends. We went to an antique mall, which I've never been to before, but it's actually super close. It's like a 20 minute drive from my house and I didn't even realize it was there. I did get a few things though, along with some stuff from other stores. So we're gonna do one big haul right now. We'll start with the stuff that I got from the antique store. This looks weird right now, but I got a heart-shaped pillow and it has this like pink and white lace cover, but I'm washing the cover right now. I think it was like $30, which my mom told me was super expensive, but it's like a vintage store and it's super cute and I don't really know if I'm ever gonna find a pillow that looks like this again. And then the other thing that I got is this super cute nightlight that once again fits like the aesthetic of my room and especially my desk. And it just reminds me of my childhood but I thought this was so cute. Isn't it so cute? Right now I just have it in the corner of my desk right there. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there. I kind of want to put it above where the other light is so that they're right beside each other. But I feel like that's kind of redundant. I had to go to Miniso because the one in the mall that's closest to me finally reopened. They were like renovating and they moved to another section of the mall that's bigger. I had to get a blind box, obviously. This is the Sanrio characters like witch wizard theme one. Here are the characters. I really want Pochaco, he's so cute. Or Cinema Roll. My Melody is also really cute. The only one I don't really want is Pom Pom Prin. I got the one I didn't want. Although I guess I don't have a Pom Pom Perrin figure yet. This is just not the one I wanted. I'm just not really a Pom Pom Perrin girl. Okay, he's pretty cute, actually. I don't know where I'm gonna put him yet, but he's growing on me. Last thing I got is some books. I saw this manga in the background of someone's TikTok. They were doing a desk tour, and this manga was shown on screen for like a split second, and I opened the comments, and one of the comments was like, oh my god, is that this manga? The manga is called Honey Lemon Soda. It's about this high school girl who feels like she's too ordinary to like be loved, and she comes across this guy named Kai, who's like the cool kid. He has lemon-colored hair, Hence the name of the manga. Just like a typical like high school shoujo. And I love high school shoujos. I love shoujos in general. I love romance animes. I also just think the art is really pretty. The main characters look so cute. I'm not normally into blondes, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna go take my makeup off, do my skincare, and then I'm gonna make myself a hot chocolate and read some Honey Lemon Soda, and then conk out. Monday, the start of a brand new week. I just finished my makeup because I need a little pick-me-up. I was feeling a little down. I've been stuck in a productive rut. I've just been so like lazy and unproductive the past few weeks and I thought doing my makeup and making myself look good would in turn make myself feel good, which would in turn give me motivation to be a little bit more productive this week. I was really in the mood to just sit down and chat with you guys today, so I'm just gonna decorate this while I talk and rant to you guys just about post-school vibes, being unproductive, everything, how my life has been going recently. I feel like talking about it and saying things out loud will help me get out of this rut and start being productive again. I have so many stickers from independent artists and Etsy and other shops that I bought when I was in my sticker obsession earlier this year and I haven't been journaling as much. That's something that we'll probably talk about in a few seconds, but I bought these to journal. I have so many 
because I haven't been journaling as much, so we're going to try to put a bunch on this cup, and this cup is pretty big. I don't know if any of you can relate, but ever since I started university, because summers are way longer now, after every school year, I enter this rut, and it'll be right after I finish exams, where I have no motivation, I don't want to do anything, I fall out of all of my hobbies, all of my habits. I just don't know what to do with myself. Once school ends, I could take summer courses, but I'm so conflicted because on one hand, I like to enjoy my spring and summer, and I like to have that break, especially this year because come September, I'm entering my last year of my undergrad, and I'll be back in school full time, which has not happened in like two years, and it's gonna be very hectic and very busy. But on the other hand, I don't know what to do myself. I just don't understand why this happens every year for at least two weeks. I do feel like this week is already off to a better start and a different start. I just wanted to talk about this and say it out loud and get it off my chest because I know some of you can probably relate. If you guys have any tips or tricks on how to prevent this rut or get out of it quicker or tips to get out of it in general, please tell me. I need tips sometimes. Little Gojo face. Okay, so I kind of went overboard, but my thought process was just put stickers everywhere. We got... Sailor Moon, Chainsaw Man, Smisky, Cinema Roll, a camera, Kenma, obviously. I cannot wait for the Haikyuu movie. This is a character from one of my favorite video games. His name is Genus. This one says, I fancy me. I got this one from a sticker pack that Lucan sent out when I bought clothes from them. Gojo, a little sunny angel with a Cinema Roll hat. I don't know where these two came from, but they were cute, so I put them on. This dog is named Rapide. He's from another Tales game. I found this sticker somewhere. It's like a cat hamburger, but it's a raised sticker. Like, it's squishy. I'm gonna finish getting ready now because my friend is coming very soon, so... finally time to start tackling the spring cleaning of the year and I'm going to get the most tedious thing out of the way first and that is cleaning out my wardrobe which is right here and it's packed to the brim. Last year I did a clean out but it was very minimal and I kept a lot of stuff. This year though I'm going to be more strict with myself and I'm only going to keep the things that I actually wear on a regular basis or I can see myself wearing in the near future and also I know myself I completely like revamp parts of my wardrobe during the summer every year so I'm going to be buying clothes throughout the summer I need space for that this might be crazy but I think I'm just going to empty out all the drawers onto my bed and then just go from there This is what we're looking at. I honestly feel like it doesn't look that bad right now, but everything's probably so jumbled up together. I left myself a little seat right there. First thing, going into the donation pile. Love the color of that bra, but it definitely don't fit me now. This is one of the hardest things I'm gonna have to part with because it just absolutely does not fit anymore. It was tight when I first got it three years ago. I wore this dress for my 20th birthday back when I'd slit dye hair and I felt so cute in it. I was on top of the world in this dress and it's still one of my favorite things I've ever worn. It's now someone else's turn to wear this glorious dress. If you're wondering, it's from Opali. I don't know if they still sell it anymore, but you can check. Maybe I'll check to see if I can get like a bigger size. It's been about an hour and I officially went through the four drawers that were exclusively closed and the black garbage bag is about halfway full so I got rid of quite a bit and we still have to go through all of those in the back over there. Before we enter the junk drawers, can we talk about these two tops? These are like peak 2020 to me because I was an avid Antonio Garza fan and she posted on Instagram wearing this top and this top and I bought them. Would I ever wear these today? No. But they have sat in my drawer for years. I just wanted to bring that up because I feel like everyone has like a 2019-2020 wardrobe aesthetic that they don't follow at all anymore and that was mine. Instagram baddie. First jump tour, oh my god, it's kinda heavy. It's time for day two of spring cleaning. The agenda for today is pretty simple. It's just to dust and wipe down my presser and my desk because they get dusty and kind of dirty so fast. I don't know where all this dust comes from. I try to do it once a week, but I think it's been two weeks, so we're gonna do a deeper clean as part of spring cleaning. I forgot to update about my dresser. I did fully clean it out. I did finish with the junk drawers. I filled a big garbage bag like to the brim with clothes and this is somehow still full. There's more room, like this drawer I could fit more, this one I could probably fit more too, but the rest of them are pretty much full. I'm just gonna put on some music and we're gonna get cleaning. Just 
just getting ready to go spend the evening with my friends. It is Victoria Day, which is a holiday here in Canada. We're dressing really chill and comfy, so I'm just in a t-shirt and jeans. I have my Toro Inouye clip in my hair. Quick little Sephora haul for this one item. I decided to splurge and treat myself the other day, as I do basically every week. I got this Tatcha body oil. It is very nourishing. I've been using it the past couple days after I like shaved my legs or something. It's almost 7.30 p.m. I am meeting Anna at her house around 8.15, so I'm going to finish getting ready, make sure I have everything, and then get driving. It's time to go have a fun night. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm finally going to see Challengers with my friend Maddie. We have been waiting until we were both free and had time to go to the movies. I'm so excited. I have been waiting for this movie since it was first teased, basically, and when it was originally supposed to be released, like, last year. I've seen so many people talk about it on the internet and say such good things about it, so I have high expectations, and I'm assuming I won't be let down. I got this new top. It's from the Korean brand Three Times. I've been looking at this top for almost two months now, and I finally pulled the plug and was like, I've been looking at it long enough, let's get it. And I'm trying to shop more quality over quantity. This shirt feels really nice. It was expensive. I don't really want to talk about how much it cost me. Here's what the top looks like. I think it's so cute. Kind of gives me like, shoujo girl vibe. But I think I call anything cutesy shoujo girl, so I could be wrong. I'm just gonna finish getting ready and then I have to go pick up Maddie. And then we're gonna go see Challengers. Oh my god. 